please note, this is a very offensive game. If you would like to uh, not be offended, I'd suggest not watching this video. I'd also personally suggest watching with, with headphones or making sure no adults are anywhere in the vicinity because it's an offensive game. Hey guys, Double here. Welcome back to If My Heart Was Refrigerator. Let's do Natsuyo, dadass. And I'm just gonna super speed to uh, jump into Portal. Because, same text. Well, isn't that swell? More rain. Great. The light. Show her the light. Show her the light? Hey, who are you anyway? Hello? There's no response. The voice is gone. Man, what the hell was that? And where the hell am I? Fucking Shibuya. Fucking Kyoto. They're all the same. Fuck. I checked my bearings. I see lots of farmland. I see a huge subway station. I see an array of historical temples. Okay, not that I'm complaining. I just realized this, but of the two... Or we've done three routes so far. Only actually one of them <laughs> had hentai, and the game specific... Or it didn't even have hentai. But only one of them was, like, any sexual stuff at all. And it specifically said in one of the game overs, I think it was when we chose Cheeseburger over Affection, that this was a hentai game. I just realized that. Of course, the two roots that didn't have anything, I'm not complaining, but... I guess, technically, it was his half-sister anyway. <laughs> I see an abundant I see abundant skyscrapers. I see an iconic statue of a dog waiting for its master. Right next to the tomb of the Emperor Miji. Oh, duh! I must be in. Right. This is very clearly Shibuya. Which means school must be... Look around some more. Ah, that way. Way to go, Freezes. You almost got me lost. Anyway, I'm gonna be late for school. Or maybe super early. God, what time is it anyway? <laughs> uh, let's say 4.40.86. Fuck it. Let's just get to school. Make my way to the subway station. People are packed together like cattle as I step on the train. This song sounds familiar. I'm guessing all the music's stolen too, but I frantically push past the crowd as I clear away to my seat. Why is there a seat if people are standing up? Hey, watch where you're going! For Freezes' sake! It's 4.86 p.m. for crying out loud! Does that mean anything to you? Really? My apologies. I hang my head down and walk to my seat. I stare out the window. <sighs> it's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks. Don't really know why. But I just want it but I wanna justify ripping someone's head off. Um hi stove. I'm assuming that's the girl. I turn around to see who dares to disturb me in my moment of musical identity. Yep. I'm sorry, but your name is Stove, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Um, Stove. You're sitting on Reginald. I'm what? I look under my ass and notice that I'm sitting on a stuffed platypus. Oh, my bad. I stand up out of my seat and grab Reginald. And I hand him back to Netsuyo. Here you go. Netsuyo grab, grabs the stuffed abomination and proceeds to hug him tightly. I think she even tries to smile. Or at least the tears stop for once. Hey, thank you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. By the way, the seat taken? Oh no, I'll move. Wait, you don't have to- Before I can finish, Netsuyo starts clearing a seat. Netsuyo finishes collecting her book bag and various oddities and then takes a seat next to me. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were trying to sit here. Netsuyo continues to apologize. And she starts crying again. Jesus Christ, does this girl ever stop crying? She just did. Hey, it's really no big deal. Please, just stop crying, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. You apologize a lot, don't you? I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this bitch. Well, hey, we're gonna be on this train for a while, right? Yeah, it usually takes a while to get to school from Shibuya. Well, how do we make the best of it, then? Your name's Netsuya, right? Right. That's a very pretty name. 
means of the summer generation, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, my name's Stove. It means stove in some language. English, to be exact. Pretty neat, huh? Ha! <laughs> hey, mother of buttfuck and smile. Holy mother of buttfuck and smile. <laughs> and it was calling her mother of buttfuck. <laughs> oh shit, did I say that out loud? Whoops, it's just that. You don't smile a lot, do you? Why is that? Nitsuyo gets a concerned look on her face. I'm sorry. <sighs> you need to stop apologizing so much. I'm so... <laughs> I cut her off. It's just that I'm never really happy, especially at school. Natsuya goes quiet. No, that's not... Okay. Do you not like school? I mean, I can't say I'm wild about it myself. Yeah, I hate school. School is hell. Every day when I get on this train and go to school, it's like waiting to die. Wow, I didn't know you felt so strongly about it. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I don't like it. The food sucks, homework sucks, gym class sucks. But I wouldn't say that I hate it exactly. So why do you hate it so much? It's because of the teachers. The teachers? The teachers are terrible to me. I always thought that their job was to inspire knowledge. I always thought that the teachers were supposed to guide the students towards their potentials. I always thought the teachers were supposed to embrace each student's individuality. But in my experience, they'd try you out for a day and if you're difficult or if you have your own way of thinking that doesn't match theirs, they simply give up on you. They don't even try to understand. They label you as an idiot or a special needs case. And then they regurgitate their same fundamental approach to everything. And when you tell them that you have your own way of thinking, they just abandon you. I had no idea. But it's more than that. Some teachers have been in there for so long they can't be fired. So they don't even attempt to teach. They just throw assignments around and expect you to know how to do them. And if you have a question... I'm tensured, not my problem. Just figure it out or make your... It will make you smarter. If you're paying attention, you know how the answer already. Before I was in school, I learned what I wanted to do in life. I learned that I love to cook. My dream is to become a great passier and move to France. <coughs> I found my passion. I found my meaning. I found my purpose. And then school happened. So instead of practicing my pastry skills, I was now forced to sit in meaningless classes with apathetic teachers. It's funny. School is actually inhibiting my ability to learn. It's slowing me down. It's preventing me from reaching my potential. School is killing my dream. And school is killing me. Every day that I have to go to school is the worst day of my life. So, every day except because it, in every visual novel I've ever read, I don't know if this is, and most anime too, I don't know if this is a Japan thing or not, but they have school Saturday, so every day except Sunday for you? Dark, gloomy, depressing. Kind of like today, huh? Exactly. This is what every day looks like to me. It doesn't matter which season it is or what the weather is like. I step off this train and another dark day begins. And each day it only gets darker. Wow. I never thought of it that way before. I mean, I don't really know what I want to do with my life. So I just sort of go through the motions at school. But damn, that's sick. Now I'm the one who's sorry. <laughs> God, she, good she's smiling again. Tell you what, I just had an idea. Hypothetically, if today was your last day alive, do you try to change things? Would you want to get back at those careless teachers? Yeah, well, I guess so. Well, why don't we then? I mean, hear me out. Worst case scenario, we get expelled. But there are always more schools, some of which are located much closer to Shibuya. Why is she going to a school? <laughs> Nowhere near where she lives, anyway. Like, that's so far. And you get the satisfaction of speaking your mind for once. So how about we show up today and give them hell? What do you say? It could be our own little Operation Graduation. Actually... Yeah, <laughs> let's do it! Okay, but you have to promise me two things. One, no more crying. And two, for Frieza's sake, no more apologizing. Can you do that for me? <laughs> yes! Alright then. Looks like class is in session. You, me, and Reginald have some lessons to teach. 
Natsuya and I sit and scheme as the train makes its long journey to school. I can tell how great this is going to be. First stop, homeroom. Natsuyo and I methodically plan this one out. This one's going to be too easy. The teacher finishes taking attendance and turns to face the class. Alright, everyone open your umbrellas and turn to page 394. Most of the class diligently opens their umbrellas. Now class, who can answer me this? How do you tell which side of a potato chip is saltier? Anybody? Yes, stove? Here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> I clear my throat and prepare to enact phrase one of Operation Graduation. PENIS! I can feel a shockwave rush across the entire room. Just after the initial blast dissipates, the fallout of silence figuratively reigns over the entire classroom, along with the literal rainfall. Is there a problem, Mr. Stove? Oh, there's no problem at all. It's just that... <coughs> PENIS! <coughs> ah, there it is again. My apo- <coughs> PENIS! Oh, so he's doing- PENIS! I'm sorry, I shouldn't have- PENIS! The homeroom teacher's fuming. He tries to contain his rage and attempts to defuse the situation. Mr. Stove, one more outburst like that from you and you will be sent straight to detention. The teacher starts losing his cool as he tries to regain his composure. Wait, they're in homeroom. Why is he making them open their textbooks? Okay, now. Ahem. Who could tell me the- how long do you have to rub your stomach before you actually lose what? What? Anybody other than Mr. Stove? Anybody? I shoot a look over at Natsuya and let her know it's time. She nods back at me and raises her hand. Um, uh, Miss Natsuya, we rarely hear from you, but certainly the entire class puts their heads up. Everyone's eyes are glued to Natsuya as she prepares to answer. Well, teacher, to answer your question more simply... Natsuya quickly smirks at me, faces the teacher, stares him dead in the eyes, and belts out a face melter. The answer is... <coughs> she just gave the performance of her life, and damn did it ever pay off. <coughs> the class is in a total uproar. The teacher has officially lost control of his students. And an added bonus, other people start joining in between the bouts of laughter. Penis! <coughs> Penis! Ah! Penis! Ah! Lord freezes, you could not have created a better. This is heaven. Shut up! Shut up, all of you! Seize! The class reluctantly quiets down. Everyone, back to your seats immediately! Everybody who was standing up now take. Oh. <laughs> Everybody who was standing up now takes a seat. Mr. Stove and Miss Natsio, Principal's office, now! All right, all right, we're going. Kind of think go out with a bang would be the better choice here. I make my way to the door and step out in the hallway. I poke my head back in the classroom for a split second. Hey, real quick, before I go... PENIS! GET OUT! I walk to, into the hallway with a symphony of laughter behind me. Natsuya leads the way as we walk towards the principal's office. Man. Dad ass. Bet she gains three inches when she sits down. All right, shall we go to the principal's office then? Yeah, I'd love round two. <laughs> or at least I feel pretty great. Or at least I feel pretty great after that last class. How are you feeling? Was it as good for you as it was for me? Oh yeah. You know they say that your first penis is supposed to hurt, but I found it pretty enjoyable. <laughs> I think I actually might get used to that. I think I might actually get used to that kind of thing. Natsuya and I stare at each other suggestively and start laughing. Ah, what a day. <laughs> we should get going, though. I can't wait for round two of Operation Graduation. Natsuya and I start walking towards the principal's office again. Then a mysterious voice starts shouting at us. Hey! Hey, you kids! Um, yes? Aren't you those crazy kids who started that uprising down the hall? I look over at Natsuya. Sure am! We'll all be danged, huh? <coughs> you kids are freaking great, I'll tell you what. You're like my new heroes. Hey, so check it. I've got some materials here, but I'm already pretty messed up as it is, you know? I'm not really in any condition over here. So hey, why don't you guys take these? Should be a lot of fun. I don't know, man, what do you got? Well, my buddy Roy hooked me up with all this new shit the kids are doing. I also just cleaned up my grandpa's attic the other weekend. 
He hadn't been up there since 1993. Found all sorts of great shit up there. So hey, what? Why don't you and your little miss take something? The man opens his trench coat and reveals a whole buffet of strange and wonderful <laughs> iniquities. I marvel at his wares and take my pick. Purple drank, bath salts, shitload of fruit. <laughs> it says don't. I can't say it right. Okay, just for you kids. This is the rare stuff I got in stock. According to my research, this shit was only on the market from 92 to 93. I guess it got people so fucked up that the government had to ban it in less than a year. I'm not going to be held responsible for what happens if you drink that. Capiche? Capiche. The stranger holds me a two liter bottle of the legendary Crystal Pepsi. No, that's not a street name. Things were different back then. I spaced out as I put my hands on the cap of this 20 year old liquid time capsule. It's some sort of out of body experience. I feel a presence. I see and hear so many wonderful things. The smell of endless pizza and the sound of the offspring. Tony Hawk. Pogs. Stretch Ar Armstrong. String things. It's all out here in front of me. I twist open the cap to a world that lies in the land before corn syrup. Hmm, I thought it would hiss. Well, that's odd. I move the cap. Oh shit. A noxious. A noxious misma fills the air around us. <coughs> Stop, help! Katsuyo utters her last words. By opening her mouth, she has effectively just filled her own death sentence. I try not to breathe as I watch Natsuyo and the stranger <laughs> asphyxiate on, on the fumes. This shit's more toxic than Zyklon B. I hear screaming from the stranger as the gas corrodes his esophagus, and then he chokes to death as on his, well, on his own blood. And, the last, and the last thing I see is Natsuyo's melted flesh dripping off her bones. Blood, flesh, and pus mixed together in a cesspool of unidentifiable liquid remains. She splatters herself all over the hallway as her musculated skeletal system attempts to stand up. I blink at the horror in my eyes and capitulate. And my eyes cap. Castracize shut! I've been holding my breath for far too long already. I take a gasp. The pain is indescribable as the gas as it burns my way through my respiratory system. It opens up all my holes and burns its way down my blood as it fills every cavity in my body. I vomit blood profusely, profusely with what little senses I have left. I notice the scent of carbon because my flesh is now burning off. First the skin melts away, giving me the muscle. Soon the muscle drips and my nerves become a little, become completely exposed. Would I, be scream I would be screaming in ag agony, but I literally don't have a throat anymore. Eventually the nerves subside as they are, are... I can only... I am having so much trouble reading right now. I can only speculate that the compounds involved in the synthesis of Crystal Pepsi didn't age so well. Over time they fermented into some sort of super mustard gas. As my brain begins to ooze out of my skull and my thoughts start to go blank, I can hear a familiar comforting sound. I miss the 90s. You actually drank that. So I'm going with a bang and then just fast forward. Hurry up, hurry up. I don't really care what to do. Let's just do basils. Check this shit out. This is my newest material. I can't love it. The stranger hands me a bag of Granulated minerals? What am I supposed to do with these? I don't know, man. I reckon most kids just eat it. <laughs> well, good enough for me, bottom stop. Open my mouth and pull in a handful of bath salts. The taste is surprisingly salty. Oh, great. It's just a sense of lavender. My throat becomes immediately desiccated and I start hacking violently. <coughs> oh, holy shit! Fuck, fuck, fuck! These are literally just bath salts. I thought that bath salts is a street term. Oh shit, it is. Oh, it is, but I mean, kids these days just don't know any better. I feel this generation's just getting dumber. I think you're right. I gaze around at this pristine academic government funded institution that all the children are forced to attend. Hmm, though I can't imagine why. Hey, you kids are pretty cool. Here, let me leave you with this little tidbit. There's a janitor's closet around the corner. I hear there's some finicky gas valves in there. Could be some fun if you mess with them. 
Oh my god, that's brilliant! The drugs start kicking in hard. Dude, idea. The stranger and Netsuya both fixate on me. Hear me out. What if... Yes, Stove? What if we blew up the school? How fucking tight would that shit be? Everybody stares at me in bewilderment. I'm starting to think that I'm on my own level now. Dude, that's brilliant. I love it! Well, have at it, kids. Those gas valves should get the job done. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, what is your name, anyway? Oh, my apologies. It's Charlie. <laughs> Winning! I can't do his voice. Nice to meet you, Charlie. Likewise. Now why don't you kids get going? That just sounds like stove. Sounds like you both got a fun day ahead of you. That sounds even less like... We both give Charlie our thanks and proceed to the janitor's closet. Damn. I can't find a light switch anywhere. Any luck, Natsuyo? Nope. There's no light anywhere in here. Hmm, no light. Wait a minute. Show her the light. The smell of natural gas weighs heavy in this room, like the stench of rotten eggs. I'm getting worried. I don't think we should spend too longer in here. Hey, Natsuyo, can you find anything that might work as a light source? Oh, uh, let's see. Natsuyo frantically looks around the room. Hey, I found something. Check it out. It looks like the janitor has a mini fridge. I bet there's a light in there. Before I can even say no, Natsuyo opens the mini fridge. Sure enough, the light kicks on. And so does the fan motor. An electric spark flickers a split second and ignites the entire room. Boom! Natsuyo and I are immediately engulfed in flames. Ho ho ho! Did you show her the light? I hate you. Hey, you wanted her affection, right? Well, you got it, didn't you? I never meant anything about sex. Hey, there's just a strong implication. Psh, you mortals and your filthy minds. This world would be much better without you anyway. But congrats, you're the last one. Any final thoughts before I annihilate you? Yeah. Operation Graduation was at least a success. Did we blow up the school? Oh, you bet you did. Phew, thanks. Guess that makes it all worth it. It's what Natsuya would have wanted. Uh, it's what Natsuya would have wanted. Well, here I am, the last human alive, sitting in a supply closet, all hopped up on bath salts. I guess this is how humanity surrenders, when fridges rule the world. Shh. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Shouldn't this be like for the white boy? Because I'm assuming she's the main heroine. <laughs> Since I'm probably gonna mute it, um, that song I it's the song I hope this you had the time of your life is playing right now. I can't remember what it's actually called or who it's by. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whip it. Oh, this is school on fire. I was like, what the fuck is that? I like how some of these are super long and some of these are short. Operation graduation. Clicking is not advancing. Success! The song ended. Now we're on the credit song.